Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. More than two years after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle signed the $112 million deal with Netflix, their highly anticipated docuseries about life in the royal family and beyond has finally dropped. The first three episodes of Harry and Meghan landed on streaming service today, featuring emotional reality TV-style confessions, unseen photos, and a behind-the-scenes look at the couple's private lives. The second chunk of the episodes are expected to drop this month, with the reported date set to clash with the Princess of Wales' carol concert in memory of the late Queen. The first three 45-minute episodes are likely to be uncomfortable viewing for King Charles and the rest of the royal family, as well as the palace staff who held crisis talks over the weekend on how to respond. These are some of the biggest bombshells from Netflix, Harry and Meghan. In the first part of their much-anticipated Netflix series, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex gave viewers an insight into Meghan's first meeting with the Prince and Princess of Wales. Meghan Markle recalled how she first met Prince William and Kate over dinner, when she was still dating Prince Harry. An analysis of the first three episodes to emerge from the controversial docu-series, royal expert Sarah Hewson suggested Meghan's relationship with the Princess of Wales has been portrayed in a less-than-friendly light from the offset. Discussing the first part of Netflix, Harry and Meghan, Miss Hewson told Times Radio, We get a lot about the royal relationships, which is one of the parts that has been picked up the most. Meghan's relationship with Kate isn't portrayed in the most friendly light. Miss Hewson, royal editor for Talk TV, highlighted how Meghan emphasized the formerly of royal life as she described in her first encounter with Prince and Princess of Wales. The Netflix series has been released following speculation over the strained relationship between Meghan and Kate. In episode 2, Meghan recalled, William and Kate came over and I first met her the first time. They came over for dinner. I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot. I was a hugger and I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that this was really jarring a lot for Brits. I guess I just started to understand very quickly the formality on the outside carried through the inside. Rumors of a feud between the Duchess of Sussex and Princess of Wales gathered pace around 2018, where a wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan. Reports emerged that the pair had suffered a falling out in the lead-up to the big day, with unnamed sources claiming Meghan left Kate in tears over a clash over whether the bridesmaid wore tights or not. The Duchess of Sussex addressed the supposed argument during a groundbreaking 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. She described reports of her row with Kate as a turning point in the royal experience. Megan explained the narrative with Kate, which didn't happen, was really, really difficult, and something that I think then everything changed, really. Duchess alleged that the reverse happened, claiming it was Kate that upset her, but the matter was quickly resolved when the princess apologized. Aside from Megan's discussion of royal relationships, Prince Harry also made some contentious comments about the pressure on male members of the royal family to marry a woman who can fit the mold of the institution. Referencing the prince's statement, Susan said, I don't know how that will go down with his father, the king, or his brother, Prince William. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you think Megan's obviously lying? Do you think it's just a made-up story, just for the sake of revenge? Write it down in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.